Okay, I should be recording face rigs uh, camera feed from my Microsoft Live Cam. It's not the most epic of things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and broadcast my avatar over this, and I'm just going to go do a quick auto calibrate my head pose. Look at the camera. Say hello. And let's do an expression pose. Now, normally when you get this uh, calibrated correctly, it does a fairly accurate job. Um, I don't know right now if it's going to be showing the various green screen or picture-in-picture -picture modes that I really like. Uh, but the thing out of it is, uh, beyond the obvious trolling of furries and things of such, I think FaceRig has some very practical applications. And I have friends, very good friends, with uh, autism or in the autism spectrum disorder and one of the primary things that they always talk to me about and having concerns with is the uh, well I'll, I'll put it in my terms first when I first got my traumatic brain injury I started noticing that I could sort of see facial features and facial recognition sort of the way face rig is currently reading my face I'm able to do that to a human face and whenever I've talked to someone on the autistic spectrum disorder or anywhere on the scale, we, we can talk and we talk about being able to see facial features on people almost like machines. And I think that's something that you need to learn very early on when you know that your child has ASD or is on the spectrum is that you need to teach them about the facial recognition thing. Because when I first got my brain injury, I would say things like morote control instead of remote control. These are obvious signs of severe neurological, you know, something is going on really wrong in my brain. But, you know, we just thought it was just me being quirky little me. But um, uh, to get back on point, you know, it took me years to realize that my face didn't make facial recognition. And when I calibrate face rig correctly, it actually picks up on the fact that I have some ticks and quirks in my face to the point that even my girlfriend gets a little creeped out at times that how accurate face rig can really pick up my facial rec my facial features and then um i try to explain her you know that's that's how i read most people and that's why i really don't like going to very large crowds uh i don't like malls i don't like packed theaters and i most certainly don't like new york city i really don't so but it's an understandable thing um when you can actively see people's body language like it's, you know, opening a, a book and reading a newspaper, but you can't help but seeing 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 people all at once, all at the same time. It's an overwhelming amount of data for some people, and it can cause some, some severe anxiety attacks or social anxiety for a lot of people. And I think using something like face rig, I mean, the whole point of the internet is putting an avatar behind either who you are or who you want to be. And we might be able to use something like this to help young individuals to connect to the outside world via the internet by putting themselves behind a safeguarded avatar, of course, with parental or guidance control. You know, I wouldn't just say, just put some, you know, eight-year-old kid behind face rig on the internet. That's just not my point. The point is using face rig to either help train people or individuals that like myself, I wish I had face rig years ago so I could – I had to look in a mirror and mimic, you know, uh, cards that they held up in front of me and said, make this face, make this face. And I felt very degraded doing that. If I had something like face rig and they turned that into a game where I would have to mimic the faces on the screen, I I, I don't – I think my, my rehabilitation would have been a lot less degrading. Um, it wasn't an extremely um, respectful part of my life, but I digress. Uh, the whole point of this is I think technology has made a lot of recoveries easier for people and extremely easier and therapeutic because we're able to come together in new and interesting ways. And I just intended to test face rig. So I hope you enjoyed this brain blur. Cheers, beers, and bunny ears, everyone.